Hi viewers, welcome to Ganyask YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create Perlin connection in Tecla structures. Just like this. Ok, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Ok, now I am going to create beam. So click on steel and select this beam. And pick the first position. And pick the second position to create the beam like this. Ok, now I am going to create one more beam. At here and create one more beam at this location okay right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to place the purlins at the middle of these beams so click on beam and pick the first point at the middle of this beam and pick the second point at this middle and pick the first point and second point to create the another beam like this then right click on mouse interrupt uh, by default we have the i section beam at this location but we required uh, c purlin so double click on this beam you will get the beam property at this location but we record perlin channel so click on here and select this perlin c you will get this profile c 8 by 11.5 if you want to change this profile you can change from here profile catalog click on here you can choose as you required currently by default i am going to use this ac 8 by 11.5 then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result okay like this okay this pylon should be placed on top of this beam so at the depth click on here and select this front then click on modify you can see now this beam exactly at the top of this beam similarly we are going to place this beam also so close this window now double click on it and click on here and select this pylon c and click on modify and at the depth front and click on modify and close this window click on space right click on mouse to double you can see now we have the channel like this at the middle you can see you will get like this okay now we're going to give the connection between this beam to these two purlins so go to application and components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here and in search bar type number 11 you can see you will get this component scroll it down and you will get this component pathlin connection number 11 component select this component and pick the main part as a beam and pick the secondary parts as this pathlins this one and select this pathlin and press scroll middle button to place the connection right click on mouse interrupt and close this window right click mouse interrupt click on space right click mouse zero view use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point and you can rotate like this you can see by default we have the connection in this side but we require the connection at this side so you can change the side of this connection just double click on this connection and go to the parameters click on parameters tab and then click on here and choose the another side by default we have the left side but we record right side so click on here and choose this right side option then then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the, this connection on right side like this okay right click mouse interrupt and select this connection now go to picture tab in picture tab you can control this distance uh, from top of beam to first bolt distance you can see from top of bolt to first bolt distance by default we have three and a half inch but we require four and a half inch so let's take here 4.5 then click on modify you can see now from the top of beam to first bolt distance should be four and a half inch similarly you can adjust this spacing also from uh, angle edge to first bolt distance you can see by default we have the uh, angle edge to first bolt distance two and a half inch but uh, we're going to take here three and a half inch so let's take here 3.5 then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have three and a half inch like this okay you can control the spacing from these options now go to the parts tab in parts tab you can control the thickness of and width of this uh, plate for example you can see by default we have the thickness of this plate three by eight uh, for example we're going to take one by four inch then click on modify you can see now plate thickness is reduced similarly you can adjust the width of this plate also for example we are going to take here 8 inch then click on modify 
you can see now plate width increased but we report only 7 inch so let's take here 7 then click on modify just like you can control the width of this plate at this option next go to the cleat tab in cleat you can control the shape of this cleat for example we require the shape uh, just like this uh, instead of L angle then just enter here the value 2 inch and then click on modify you can see now you will get this kind of shape uh, from angle to this 2 inch now I'm going to change the this depth for example this angle we're going to maintain uh, from edge to first ball distance we have by default one and a half inch from hole to edge of this angle we have one inch but we record one and a half inch so enter here on 0.5 then click on modify you can see now the bolt to edge of this angle should be one and a half inch similarly you can adjust this spacing also as you required by default uh, we are going to take one and a half inch and one and a half inch from bolt to edge of distance okay next go to bolts main tab in this bolt main tab you can control the bolt size and tolerance and uh, distance also for example you can see uh, by default we have the 3 by 4 inch bolt size but we record half inch then enter here half inch and tolerance let's take 1 by 16 then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt size should be half inch okay now coming to the spacing uh, between the two bolts uh, by default we have the distance uh, uh, inner bolt spacing 4 inch uh, for example we are going to take 3 and half inch so let's take here 3.5 then click on modify you can see now this spacing should be 3 and half inch similarly you can control these bolts also uh, so go to bolts secondary tab then let's take here half inch bolt and troll lens 1 by 16 then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt should be half inch now here also you can control the spacing between the two bolts uh, from this option by default we have the 4 inch but we require 3 and half inch so I enter here 3.5 then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt distance should be 3 and half inch okay now you can control the spacing between the two purlins uh, from here go to the parameters tab you can see by default we have the half inch for example we require 1 by 4 inch quarter then click on modify to see the result you can see now the spacing between the two purlins should be 1 by 4 inch okay similarly you can uh, use this component at here so then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse read view now we're going to give the connection at this location so go to application components and select this Perlin connection number 11 component pick the uh, main part as a beam and pick the secondary part as a purling and press the scroll middle button to place the connection okay by default we have the connection on other side but we required in this side so double click on this component and go to the parameters and click on here and select the other side option then click on modify to see the result just like this then click on modify apply okay uh, remaining options are same but here you need to uh, give the projection so I will almost interrupt double click on this component and go to the parameters instead of using the spacing we require without spacing option then click on modify apply ok but still we need to give the projection of this purling so uh, this control is not in this component so we need to give in this purling option so double click on this purling property now we will get the purling property at here so you can see this color indicates the end point so end point in the x direction local uh, dx direction so let's take here uh, for example we're going to give the projection 3.5 inch then click on modify you can see you'll get the projection like this as you required uh, currently we have uh, from this point to this point 3.5 inch projection like this okay then close this window right click almost interrupt now we're going to give the same connection at this location also so select this component and pick the main part as a beam and pick the second part as a this purlin then scroll middle button press the scroll middle button to place the connection now double click on this component and go to the parameters and change the side of this purlin then click on modify now we need to give the projection so close this window and double click on this purlin property and here you can see this indicates the a starting point so let's give here 3.5 inch then click on modify 
this now it is reduced the length of this purling so we need to give here negative value so uh, before this value let's give negative minus then click on modify you can see you will get the projection like this and close this window right click on mouse interrupt and close this window you will get like this okay that's it about how to create Palin connection in Tecla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel, youtube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many Tecla structure related videos. I hope this video is might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.